Hello and welcome to the Assault Android Cactus Daily for the 25th of June. There's been a bit of a gap, <laughs> but um, you know, I've had content going up. It's just been rather hectic. And yeah, so there's a lot of um, outdated political jokes, possibly, because obviously it was all pre-Brexit and now it's post-Brexit and all that shit that's going on. So yeah, there's just so much shit and um, right. I went to a few different things, like there was job interviews and stuff, and um, one was because um, I've been applying to things and I wasn't entirely, because the Job Centre website is pretty much useless, I apologise for the disjointed commentary at the moment, but yeah, the Job Centre website is pretty much useless, so it states it's full time when it's actually part time, and um, I need full time work to pay the bills, so that is an issue so on the phone I thought that bomb was going to how the hell are these bombs not going and then just an ordinary thing kills me yeah so I checked on the phone is this a full time job and um, they were yeah because I'd gone to interview before that were part time and it's like well you called me in for interview slash trial shit for a fucking part time thing that I definitely couldn't even do because hey you know I made sure, even on the phone then, I was like, you know, I need at least 30 hours to pay the bill. That bomb's going to get me, so <laughs> I know I should have focused the other guy. Firepower. Right, firepower, let's get rid of this thing, and that thing, and the bomb. So yeah, they were, yeah, this is definitely a full-time job. And then you go to the job interview, and it's not a full-time job. Battery, where are you running away to? So why even call me in if it's not even a full-time job? And I've checked on the phone, is it full-time? Because I need at least 30 hours. Oh yeah, it's definitely full-time. There's no part-time jobs. And it's like, no, it's the other way around. When the guy that you're actually being interviewed guy talks to you, it's only part-time. And that's the problem in the market because they are scared for their business. They want to protect things by having part-time only. They want as many part-time people, even explained it exactly in this manner, that they want, in case people get ill, in case people quit, they need as many employees as they can on as few hours as possible. Now that is really dumb because you can't pay the bills, how the hell do you pay rent, how the hell do you pay for electric, gas, and internet, anything on just a five hour of a job. And then, oh, well, you just take six of those and you got your 30 hours, well no, because, I mean, if all six jobs want you in on a Friday and a Saturday in exactly the same hours, then that is not something that is entirely feasible, is it? You know, I need to be able to pay the bills, and if I have a full-time job, then it's not going to clash with hours of anything else, is it? Whereas if you take several jobs to try and get the hours, then you're going to get the impossibility where the hours that you need to work, you need to be in three places at once just to be able to do that and it's not really possible because they only want you in for the busy hours and no, I need full time work players, I need to be able to pay bills please, you know, can you just not be a dick about it? <laughs> I mean, you've called me in for an interview and oh yeah, you're very well qualified, it's just um, we kind of only want people with no errors. Yes, I know I punted that for the battery, and uh, I don't know how people think that you can survive like that. It's dumb. The economy can't survive like that. If people can't survive like that, and you wonder why they leave the jobs. They probably have been told also, hey, this is full-time work. They probably think they're going to get the hours right. They're going to have to jump in for a battery. We got downs, but we got the battery. And then they quit because, hey, you know, if they're not getting the hours to pay the bills, they're forced to quit. They've got no choice. So I bet they're not all checking like me. It's like, hey, you know, is this even going to pay the bills? Right, get to the battery quickly. I know I'm just tanking everything for that. Right, got it. Accelerate. Let's get that firepower. There's a lot of those things. And so, yeah, Brexit is just going to make things a million times harder and then so, well, you know, you knew that the economy was going to be fucked by this, so you knew what you were voting for and you knew that they were just saying, hey, we could spend this on this, not we will spend this on this. But people are dumb and don't listen, so... Hey-ho! And then another thing that I'm going to complain about is more of a gameplay thing. It's, um, Descent Underground. It's like, it 
did work. I know that while recording it didn't really have the frames, but hey, it did, and my graphics card is um, DirectX 11 and is meeting the requirements. And I know it's a 1 gig graphics card, but I have 3 gigs of graphics somehow, according to my DirectX. I'm guessing it's um, because of RAM and the hard drive and virtual graphics. But still, you know, it runs and then it's like, oh, well, no, you're way below the minimum standards. And it's like, no, I meet the specs. And I did definitely meet the specs when it was going for, I know, it's still in development, but the, just, the response that I got was a bit of a dick response from them. And it's like, you know, I was just asking and they're like, hey, 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 you shouldn't even be really running this, you're way below this, so why are you even complaining? It's like, well I'm not the only one saying that it's not working and you broke it, it's because they put it to the experimental DirectX 12, so it's not going to work and it's probably never going to work <laughs> anymore for me, which, because it's done development, you know, the requirements are going to change and it's probably going to go fully to DirectX 12, but it just didn't need to be the dicks about it the way that they did response they could have just you know said that hey you know requirements have changed not ooh your system is so inferior that you shouldn't even be running this and it's like well no because it's not that inferior it's quad core 3.0 it's supposed to be a 3.2 when i bought it but 3.0 quad core processor four gigs of ram but you know windows 7 it's limited to four gigs of ram Although I have got 64, so it should be able to go to 8, but it didn't seem to when I put the graphics card in. Yes, I'm punting that for a battery. Got the battery, right, get out, get that 5 hours. Shit, it changed, right. That's why I left it, because it changed. Have you got one as well, Wraith? I think one of these Wraiths had it. Battery, please. By battery, please, I mean shoot your rocket at him. No, we're dead. So, yeah, I mean... Get it! Yes! <laughs> right. So, yeah, I mean, I wasn't being a dick, and then they were being a dick about it, and it's just like, I only asked, you know, it was like, has something changed? Because a lot of people have been having the same problems, and I updated my screen to try and get better resolution and better things. But hey, you know, there's only so much you can do, and I know I need to update. I think it's quite old system now, but still, uh, the way they responded was a bit off. Anyway, thanks for watching. Join us next time with some more. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.